everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna talk about this very interesting individual that some of you who likes to uh, use tiktok might be very familiar of her name is on some so i was I, I kept seeing her videos in my fyp right so i decided one day that i wanted to get to know a lot more about her and so i did i did a bit of research about her so now let's talk about her who is she who is her husband i'm mentioning her husband because apparently after i do a research um, her husband is actually a very important kind of person. So anyway, let's dive right into it. Aon Somrutai, who is she? Her real name is, I have to take a look at my notes because, Thai, you know Thai names, they are pretty long so I'm afraid I might mispronounce uh, them as well. So her real name is Somrutai Sang Chai Pom. She is a businesswoman. She is the founder of Perin Porter as well as SF brand name actually these two are pretty much the same kind of business but according to my research SF brand name is uh, older than Perrin Potter so she started with the SF brand name and then only with Perrin Potter so in her viral TikTok videos she's always being seen uh, shopping at this uh, particular shop and she's like I take or <laughs> well that's actually her shop that's hers you know so she's basically doing uh, this whole thing act like she's buying all the things when she's actually the boss she's actually the owner of the shop so I'm not really sure when Perrin Potter was actually started but when I check on the Wayback Machine, Perrin Porter's website was launched in 2023 and the same and it tallies with the Facebook account as well so the Facebook account was also started in February 2023 so it's it so it could be that Perrin Porter started on February 2023 and as for as a brand name I also don't know when it actually started I know right what a great researcher <laughs> but I don't know when um, as a brand name started as well but all I can see is that the earliest um, date of SF brand names um, appear in her Instagram feed was since 2021 which is quite clear to me that SF brand name have started way before Perrin Potter. Now it is also mentioned that uh, she used to be somewhat famous, not as famous as it is right now but she used to be somewhat famous because uh, there was this internet article that said that she had a YouTube channel back then and it gained quite a lot of views. Look up her name on YouTube. She is also being featured in one of these mattress brands video uh, asking about her marriage life. I mean, if you're not famous, a mattress brand wouldn't be asking you to talk about your married life. I, it seemed to me that she's actually somewhat famous back then. However, when I try to find her old contents it's just it's almost does not exist i i don't really know why uh, the only old contents that i could find from her are from instagram so uh when i try to find youtube like her old youtube and all that stuff it's just really hard to find now here is another interesting thing about aon which is that she used to be married to someone else who is also a doctor so i don't know why i think doctor is definitely her type uh, because she used to be married to a doctor and then now she's going to marry a doctor so there was this video published in 2021 about her talking about her marriage life uh with her husband unfortunately i really could not find who is her husband's name because uh, I think the biggest blocker of this research is that I do not speak Thai and I don't understand Thai at all. So yeah, it's just a, it's just very hard because a lot of news articles are in Thai. When they speak, it's in Thai. I mean, I can always use uh, YouTube's um, automatic translation, but it's always messed up. Like it's just always inaccurate. It's messed up. You know how it is. And so when I bumped into some... Uh, Thai news articles, I can definitely copy paste them into the Google Translate. But, I, but when I wanted to inquire about a search, like I don't know, I don't know what to write because I'm just not Thai, so I don't know. And anyway, so there's this video of her with her hus with her then husband talking about their married life in, with this uh, mattress brand called Magniflex. It's still out there. It's published in 2021 so that's how i know that she used to be married and so now now they're obviously separated and she is 
with Dr. Noparat, which I'm gonna be talking about later. So let's talk about her TikTok. She started on TikTok somewhere in 2023, November. So if you dig deep into her um, old contents on TikTok, uh, there's this one video, which is the oldest video there is. Uh, that is dated in November 2023 where she basically just you know create like a regular content like just like one of us you know she was like looking at this very expensive stuff I think it's an it's a it's a bag shaped like an egg or something like that I don't really know what that object is to be honest but what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you take a look at that very old video, you can see how she talks like a regular person. She acts like a regular person. Like if you if you thought that um, her character that she's doing right now is her real self, you're wrong. <laughs> because if you take a look at that oldest video of her, like she talks like you and me. She doesn't carry around bodyguard. She's not being like, thank you, Kateki, and all that stuff. No, she doesn't do any of that. But when we uh, jump into, I think it was her third oldest video. Um, I'm not sure. You guys have to check it out yourself. Um, so her third oldest video is where I think the origin of this character that is famous right now has started. So in that third oldest video, which was posted in March 2024, she was acting like this high society, super rich material girl. Uh, she's followed by two bodyguards and one of them is actually Kateki. So Kateki was around for quite some time already. So she was walking around and she, she goes to the Print Porter store and she was like um, inquiring about and then the staff at Print Porter kind of introduced her to the new arrival. So with these two videos, you can definitely see the contrast, the how she actually acts in this in the in the later video. She's she was basically acting. <laughs> So that's basically the origin of this exaggerated character that we see. Nice to see you again. Can be this one as well. This one. I'm gonna make it clear, she's not really doing an entirely new character. Like, uh, if you are Indonesian, you might know Bobby Saputra. Uh, so Bobby Saputra, basically, his real name is Ben, but he created this new entire character called Bobby Saputra, where he's like the the son of the richest man in Indonesia or something like that, and then he creates all this new life for that character. Aon is nothing like that. Aon, basically, whatever that is in her life that we see, uh, that is really her life like she does have a bodyguard she does have this uh ferrari i think it was a lamborghini or ferrari i don't i'm sorry i don't know cars so i don't know but there's this like um a uh, black with pink and purple color thing uh ferrari or lamborghini car uh that is actually her husband's car um he owned it for quite some time already and her house it's real like everything in her life that we see in her TikTok videos, they are real, but she just does not act like that. She doesn't talk like that. She doesn't act like that in real life. So anyway, now that we can see that's the origin of her character, so she basically kept doing it and then it finally blew up and now we just always see that uh, exaggerated character of hers. Well, she basically never shows her real character in her recent video. So actually, her video where she, the viral video that started it all, I think it was this video, this video in particular, that she was like, um, I want this, I want this, I take or, you know, like when she goes to a print porter and she was like, I take or. So I think that was the uh, D video that went super viral, that blew up, blew up her account. And so it actually started off as a marketing tactic for print porter to, to, you know, just to like, you know, if, if your marketing department told you that, hey, can you act like a very rich girl and then go to our store and ask about our new arrivals, like that's basically what she did she was, she's so that's a very smart marketing move to be honest like that's very smart that's cheap that's smart and it brings so much a uh, fortune and luck to both her print partner as well as her husband her soon-to-be husband i'm sorry i keep referring to 
Dr. Noparat as her husband when I just remember that they just got engaged, they're not married yet. Anyway, let's move on to her relationship with Dr. Noparat which I'm gonna uh, touch uh, in a few moments. First, let's talk about Dr. Noparat. So Dr. Noparat, who is he and why do I need to talk about him? Because apparently, if you want to talk about Aon Somrotai, you cannot not talk about her husband like her husband is actually a pretty important figure apparently i uh, i always thought like uh, i think for me and non thais out there like we don't know much about thailand and we are not keeping in touch with their um, entertainment industry right so we thought that when we at first when we saw um Aon's video featuring her husband I thought like oh I think her husband is a doctor I mean obviously she always calls him like doctor so I get this feeling that maybe her her husband actually got famous because of her uh, when it's actually the other way around the doctor Noparat uh, his real name is Noparat Morsong Ratanawaraha he is a celebrity plastic surgeon and he has been famous for many years already uh, because uh, see the thing is if you're not famous you wouldn't be featured in TV channels in news and and other reputable uh, internet articles since like way back then I mean the oldest article that I found of him was dated in 2016 and I'm pretty sure that's not the oldest I'm sure there's like way 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 older um, articles of him because he has just has been famous for quite a long time already he's a famous figure in thailand basically and i was trying to find out like the reason why he got famous why was he famous in the first place and i just couldn't really find out why because the thing is thailand has a lot of plastic surgeons so why is it that he was the famous one and i think it could be the reason because his clients are mostly celebrities and so maybe he just has this um a uh, fun personality and he's not camera shy and then maybe his uh, clients basically refer to him so that he can appear in talk shows and many other shows as the beauty expert but in 2022 something terrible actually happened to him so he has this mini travel show where he travels around the world and when he went to Mali in West Africa he was basically kidnapped for 25 days he he was finally able to be set free after he paid the so that event actually makes quite a uh, quite a news in Thailand so it was talked about in the internet it was also talked about in some TV channels as well uh, so you know that he yes he's an important figure he's quite well known in Thailand for quite some time already now the reason why I would know of his uh, ex-partners before Aon is also because when he broke up with his girlfriend or when he had a divorce it was talked about in TV channels yeah it was just clear that he's actually a famous person so in 2016 it was announced that he had a divorce with Ying Ye so I think they have already been married for some, quite some time uh, before 2016 obviously and I found it in this um, article by Bangkok Post and to be honest with you when I read about this divorce news of them i get this vibe that this is quite a messy divorce uh because there's a lot of he she says he says you know like she said uh she felt like a slave in this marriage but actually he said that uh, i never control her excessively you know it's, it's like things like that like when when a couple you know talks like that uh, about uh, their separation i feel like hmm, i feel like there's something messy going on right here anyway let's just move on from that so the next partner that i found it was actually this girl called rinata i'm not going to even try to pronounce her last name because her last name is very long but her nickname is french fine which is really cute french fine <laughs> so it is confirmed in april 2023 they broke up so to be honest with you, I'm also not clear if they have if they are married or they are just boyfriend girlfriend. But basically, they separated. So like he said that he is like hopeful about his love life, you know. So that's how I got to know about uh, their breakup, their separation. But I don't really know how long they dated and all that stuff. I don't even know if they're married or not. But so that was in um, April 2023. Now let's move on to the next partner, which is the iconic girl that we all love and wanted to hear about 
Aon Somrutai. So Aon started to appear in his Instagram feed on July 2024. I'm not clear when they actually really started dating but I think it was definitely in 2024. And then in August 2024, there's this news in Thailand uh, introducing her as the new sweetheart of Dr. Nopara. And in that news as well, they talk about how she is a successful businesswoman. So one thing to note is that she is already a successful businesswoman way before she met Dr. Nopara. So uh, some of you guys who might think that, oh, she got rich because of her husband. Well, actually, no, not really. I don't think that's true. I disagree with that. I think they're just, they're both rich already before they even met each other but it's also quite interesting to me that uh, somewhere in um, 2024 her TikTok started to blow up like it's not just Indonesians like me who know her TikTok it's actually like some people from other uh, countries in Southeast Asia also knows about her so I don't think uh, she's famous because of one of uh, the public figure in Indonesia I think she just blows up everywhere because of her very exaggerated character like she like she acts like the like I don't know I don't know how she acts I can't really describe it but she acts in a very extravagant way like it's just so interesting to see how she interacts with Kateki, uh, Konoi and all that stuff like it's just so interesting and I think a lot of people agree with me on that one so yeah I, I don't know why but it's just so interesting to me that they uh that in 2024 like everything started to align for these two people so he he met Aon and then Aon got her um TikTok blew up her Perrine Porter started to I don't know be very very successful Dr. Noparat who is already famous in Thailand is now also famous in other countries as well so anyway in October 2024 they finally uh, got engaged so he proposed to her and then they have their pre-wedding shoot already i am not sure of the date they actually will get married but i do sure hope that i got invited <laughs> but i guess one thing that really that is just interest me or maybe you can say it's a value that i can get from doing this research is that their acting tiktoks are not real so <laughs> i don't know it I, like it's a pretty known fact that everything that you see in social media are not real like, like sometimes they could just be an exaggerated because a lot of people seem to think that uh, that is her real character that is her real life that is how she really acts in her everyday life which is just not true she she really is just a normal person just like you and me i i believe if you uh, bumped into her one day and then you talk to her like she sounds like a regular person so yeah i think this is just pretty interesting for me to um be reminded of that even though sometimes maybe what we see on social media is like it it seems so real that we just don't second guess it but despite that uh, a lot of things in her life, a lot of the things that she featured, they are real. Her house, Kateki, Kanoi, they're real people, you know? And in this video, I guess I also wanted to um, do a bit of um, clarification for those people out there who are questioning this rumor in my country. I don't know where is that rumor started from, but I, again, I'm not the PR or the um, or the representative of Aon Sombre Thai, but there's this um, rumor that she might be a transgender, that she used to be a man, which is just not true. It's absolutely not true. Uh, she is a biological woman, that is for sure. I guess another thing that a lot of people wanted to know is that is she really rich or is she just pretending to be rich? Well, if you have watched until this far, you will know that based on my research, she is actually rich. In fact, she's already rich before she met her um, fiance. So she's rich, he's rich, they're both rich. They're sure they might not be like the richest person in Thailand, but they are rich, you know? So yeah, that kind of explains their um, huge house, their fancy car, their uh, bodyguards, you know? Uh, but I think another thing that is probably not real is how she always buys 
all of this stuff at Perrine Potter. I don't think that's real. I think that's definitely still is a marketing tactic. She's still trying to promote Perrine Potter. She's trying to introduce to us uh, the new or the latest things that Perrine Potter has, you know, which is really cool. Honestly, I mean, if I have a store like her, if I have a business like her, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> oh my god, I am acting like I'm her staff and promoting her business. No, I, I'm not her staff. I just really like how she did things, how she's doing all this marketing tactic, which is just genius in my opinion. Uh, I like her acts actually. I love her videos. I keep like every time I see uh, on Sobre Thai's video, I'm like, oh my god, hey girl. <laughs> you know, it feels like she's talking to us. Anyway, uh, that is um, my research on on some Thai. I hope you guys like this video and let me know the next person that I should research on if you guys like this kind of content. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.